Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. In early May 2022, Voyager 1's signal went strange. The spacecraft Voyager 1 is tasked with exploring the areas beyond our solar system's planets. It's currently 24 billion kilometers out, about six and a half times further than the distance between the Sun and Pluto. Conditions are harsh in interstellar space, as outside the Sun's protective magnetic field, you are constantly bombarded by cosmic rays and interstellar radiation. It is the furthest out that any human spacecraft has ever gone. Although it's over 45 years old now, and its power supplies are dwindling, Voyager 1 has been consistently providing fascinating data about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and other features of the interstellar medium. So it was strange when, one day, the signals coming from Voyager 1 went weird. I'm Alex McColgan and you're watching Astrum. Although at the time NASA scientists scrambled to figure out what was going wrong with Voyager 1, it took them months to find out the answer. And there is still some mystery to what happened. Let's see those events through their eyes as we ask, can you solve the mystery of Voyager 1? Imagine you are a NASA scientist. You arrive at your computer for the day and begin looking through the Voyager 1 telemetry data. Voyager 1 sends back status updates about its systems, letting you know whether everything is functioning normally. It takes 22 hours now for a signal to reach Earth from Voyager 1, so communication is a little slow between you and the spacecraft you're overseeing. Currently, it's more like sending letters than text. However, today something is wrong. The information it has sent you is gobbledygook. Instead of precise data explaining exactly what Voyager 1's thrusters are doing, and what orientation it believes itself to be at, you get long strings of zeros or 377s. The information does not make sense. It suggests that Voyager is doing things and pointing directions that it cannot be. You quickly check your computer again. Yes, you did just receive a signal from Voyager 1. So its antenna must be pointing towards you, the same as it always has. It cannot be pointing in the strange directions it is claiming, or you would not be getting a signal at all. And not only are you receiving the signal, but it's at the exact same strength too, so it has definitely not changed direction. And ping, onto your computer comes Voyager 1's latest science data. Strangely enough, this is all normal. While over the years Voyager 1 has had to turn off 5 of its 11 pieces of scientific equipment, and a further 2 have stopped working due to general degradation, the remaining 4 continued to take readings about the interstellar medium, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. Nothing here is garbled in any way. You check the other systems. Voyager 1's power supplies are a little low, but that's to be expected. The plutonium oxide that fills its three generators have a half-life of 87 years, but Voyager 1 has been travelling for 45 now. It's no wonder the efficiency has started to decline. In fact, the experts believe that Voyager 1 will not last past 2025. But that's some time away. It does not explain what is happening now. After checking its other systems, it is just one that is behaving strangely. The AACS the Attitude, Articulation and Control System. This computer is one of three on Voyager 1, and its job is to make sure the spacecraft's large, 3-meter antenna continues to point towards Earth. This AACS has stopped sending coherent data. You lean back, puzzled. The situation is not as bad as you might have thought, but it is troubling. It's kind of like receiving post from a postman who says hello to you every morning, only for some reason he starts speaking another language one day. The packages he delivers are still the same, and they've arrived at the same address. It's just the words the man speaks make no sense to you anymore. To further compound the strangeness, Voyager 1 doesn't think that anything is wrong with it at all. The spacecraft comes equipped with emergency safe mode settings that it can go into if it detects that anything is not working the way it ought to be. Essentially, these involve powering down until scientists can figure out what's wrong with it. And these have not activated. So Voyager 1 believes that all its systems are working the way they should be. 
The data is given, the scene is set. This was the question that NASA engineers faced in mid-2022. A single fault like this might not seem like a big deal, but it hints at something potentially wrong with further systems. And if that is true, it might spell an end to the whole mission. Voyager 1 is, by now, 23.8 billion kilometers away from you. Your solution will have to be made via deduction alongside careful 22-hour each-way questions and answers with the faulty spacecraft. By evaluating the rest of the systems and finding them normal, you can rule out some of the more unusual explanations. No, this probably is not the work of aliens trying to mess with you. Although Voyager 1 carries with it a golden disk containing detailed information about the human race, including images of human biology, the sound of nature, musical symphonies, and mathematical equations, on the off chance that it does bump into any aliens who would like to know about us, it seems that this would be a strange way for aliens to communicate with us. And no, the laws of physics have not broken down. Voyager 1 has not entered a wormhole that is skewing where it thinks it is while still somehow getting the signal back to you. Given that the scientific data all appears to be providing normal readouts, it's much more likely that the problem lies with the AACS itself. For four months, scientists and engineers gently prod and examine Voyager 1, testing theory after theory and trying to come up with a solution that fixes things without causing any further damage in the process. They could switch over to a backup system. It would not be the first time they'd started using a new computer on Voyager 1 after the old one stopped working. Voyager 1 is built with redundancies. This isn't even the first AACS computer that's been used. A previous one became defective a while ago. They also contemplate just leaving things be. After all, the science data is still coming in. Would it be the end of the world if Voyager 1 simply carried on speaking garbled messages? Perhaps this could be the new normal. Except it implies that a deeper problem is being overlooked. Can you figure out what was going wrong? Feel free to have a guess in the comments. However, from just the information in this video, it would be very impressive if you could. It turns out that in the intense, radiation-filled environment of interstellar space, something had made Voyager decide to start using that older, broken AACS computer to send data back to Earth. Because of the faults in this computer, the data had become corrupted, resulting in the strange numbers. So actually, in this case, the fix was easy. All NASA had to do to fix it was to ask Voyager to start using the right computer again. Once Voyager 1 did that, the problem was resolved. On this occasion, it was an easy fix but next time it might not be. Voyager 1 is an old ship now. As it continues to travel through interstellar space, it may encounter more and more faults. And there is still a lingering mystery. Why did it start using the old, broken computer? At the time of writing this script, NASA is still not sure of the answer. Unfortunately, some of the systems on Voyager are so old now that the people who designed them have long since retired. Perhaps this is one mystery that will never fully be resolved. I hope not though. I hope Voyager 1 will travel further and push the final frontiers as far as it can go. And I also hope you enjoyed this format. To me, science is all about solving mysteries. And in order to tackle the larger questions of how the universe works, a lot of smaller riddles need solving such as finding and fixing a fault on an exploring spacecraft. While NASA scientists were attempting to extract Voyager 1's data for good reasons, when it comes to here on Earth, we are not always so lucky. Hackers use malware or just brute force methods to try to gain access to your data and passwords. Once they know those, they can sell it on or attempt to extract money out of you. I myself have nearly been fooled by phony websites and emails asking me to enter my personal details. Only by noticing that something was off with the URL was I able to avoid getting scammed. But today's sponsor NordVPN encrypts your data with just one click. By using next-gen technology, it can make your data as difficult to read as Voyager's garbled signal. It can also make your location impossible for hackers to pinpoint. While not recommended by NASA, 
It has been recommended by the NSA as a way to keep your information secret. And in a recent launch, they've expanded their suite of protection to not just hide your location, but actively defend you from web trackers, infected files, malicious ads, and harmful websites. This customizable threat protection suite integrates in with the rest of NordVPN, keeping you even safer on the internet. Go check out my nordvpn.com forward slash astrum link below for a special discount, and you can get four months free coverage when you purchase the two-year plan risk-free thanks to their 30-day money-back guarantee. Give it a click. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my patrons and members for your support. If you want to have your name added to this list, then check the links in the description below. All the best, and see you next time.